What's going on, everybody? This is a Lady Pips coming at you. You already know what we're talking about today. Forex trading, baby. All right, today we get I'm coming to you with a Euro Euro JPY live trade technical analysis from the beginner standpoint. All right. So this is going to be for beginners because you guys know I am definitely on my forex journey. Now, this um breakdown of a trade that I actually took this one is actually um is actually from today, the same date that I'm uh, recording this video which happens to be January 19th of 2024, baby. All right, so in this, I'm going to show you guys, you know, um, I, you know how I do. I, I start at the top, right, looking at possible trends and all that good stuff. Then I'm going to take it on down to show you where I entered and why I entered from a technical standpoint. Now, keep in mind, the other piece of this puzzle is the fundamental analysis, okay? So right here today, we're going to talk about the technical analysis all right and i want you guys to stick around to the end because i have a cool cool bonus just for you at the end for sticking around all right now if this is your first time on the channel welcome go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button baby and you already know go ahead and ring that bell baby so you could be alerted the next time i come up with some content because i'm bringing it to you guys every single week all right so let's go ahead and jump on these charts baby all right, I got you here on my screen for Euro JPY. All right, now this is the M15 and this is where I actually entered, but let's go ahead and start at the top. So that way I kind of give you an idea, give, give you guys an idea of why I was looking to buy this particular pair. All right, so one of the things I do is I like to start at higher time frame. So I'll go over to the daily. And what I'm looking for is I'm just get, um, getting a general idea of the flow, you know, of the of the pair. Right. And you see this pair obviously has been in an uptrend going up, up, up. Right. And then we had this little pullback, but there's nothing about this as it's going up. There's nothing about this telling me that I should be selling this pair right now. OK, so I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm doing this from an intraday standpoint. I'm looking for an intraday move, an intraday uh, trade. So therefore, I'm looking for a reason to what? Continue to trade and buy. Right. Then I'll also look at the H4. OK, now the H4, the time the H4, they was just on a little pullback. But you see this red right here is my 13 EMA. OK, the light blue is actually my 50 EMA. The white is my 200. And this dark blue right here is actually my. Is this, why is it dark blue? That was supposed to be purple. Anyway, and this is my 800 EMA right here. OK, this is my 800 EMA. So the reason why I'm pointing that out, because at the time um, where price was the EMA, this 13 EMA was still pointing up. All right. So and we'll do that in another video. Talk about that. But basically, if my EMAs are still pointing up, I don't want to sell down into an EMA that's still pointing up. So I'm like, that's kind of giving me a guide on where I should go. Right. At least from an intraday move. All right. So then I go down to the H1. All right. H1 time frame. Let me open this up a little bit. Open this up a little bit. OK, and this blue one that I put here, this is the time frame that I actually entered on or the time that I entered on. I just took the time down here from the MT4. All right. This is the time I actually entered on. I just marked that so we can see where it's at. OK, but the point of the matter is when price was coming back, it was just coming back to go ahead and kiss off of this uh, 50 EMA. But like I said, I was already looking for buys, okay? So I was not looking for reasons to sell. I was looking for reasons to buy because I'm in an uptrend, right? Okay? Now, guys, if you haven't already watched the video that I go over market structure, it will really help you when it comes to figuring out, you know, which way you should be trading, you know, whether you should be buying or selling or even stay out of the market, all right? So make sure um, at the end of this video, I'll put a link to that so that way you guys can watch that market structure video. All right. So now that I have an idea that I want to be buying this market, now I'm going to drop down to the N15. And I'll tell you guys, a lot of my entries do come off the N15. Not all of them. I mean, I will enter off of the H1. I will enter off of the H4 time frame. You know, and depending on the pair, I may even enter off of the daily. Okay. Right. But most of them come off of the N15. This one came off of the N15. All right. So, damn it, I just moved that. I didn't mean to. It doesn't matter. All right, so now I'm on the F15 right here. All right, so now we get into, you know, what was I looking at when it was time for me to take this trade? All right, now, some of the things, one of the things um, that I actually like to see, you know, this is, 
you know, if I see this, man, I'm telling you right now, I said this on another video and I'm going to tell you guys here again, you know, basically these steps right here. If I see three pushes, now that's what you see these boxes for right here. It's like a push, pull back, push, pull back, push three. Now I'm looking for them to make their anchor. Okay. And their anchor is just a variation of a W you know, or, or M if you're going to be selling. In this case, we were looking for a buy. Okay. So push, pull back, push, pull back, push, right? Three pushes down. I'm like, yeah, I'm golden, baby. All right. Now I did not enter down here. Okay. I did not enter down here. I think, I don't know. I probably was still asleep or something. I don't even know. All right. But I didn't enter down here. All right. No, I wasn't asleep. Uh, <laughs> but I saw the move once they came back. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little tip, and I'm, I'm going to be saying this little nugget here on other videos moving forward because I'm going to be trading a lot more of the yen. I'm literally going to make a whole playlist of me just going over trades uh, with the yen. That means JPY, okay? Here's something that I noticed, all right? And I'm just going to point it out because I noticed it here. Notice how the pair comes down, right? The price comes down here. And let me let me make this a different color. Hold on. And I'm changing, I'm, I'm going to move all my little lines. Okay, let me make this a different color so you can see it. I'll make it white, so hopefully it stands out. Okay, notice how the pair came down, the, the uh, price came down, okay? Then price pulled back up into the 13 MA, all right? Then it didn't actually close above and back below, right? It just kind of kissed it a little bit. Then it came down, made a lower leg, right? Follow me now. Follow me now. Then it came up and actually crossed and closed above the 13 EMA, right? Then pulled back below the 13 EMA, right? And what did that do? Look at this pattern. Look at this pattern, y'all. Look at this pattern. What is this pattern telling you? This is an inverted head and shoulders. This is a peak pattern, an inverted head and shoulders. This, this is what this is all day long, twice on Sunday, Okay. I love to see, I love, love, love to see it, okay? So the point is that, you know, when you start seeing the same things over and over in a pair, it definitely helps you get, you know, better at trading that pair. It, it makes things easier for you, which is why I'm going to be focusing on the yen pairs. Mm, a little uh, prelude there, okay? So anyhow, I have my three pushes down, okay, onto, let me pull this down real quick, onto what? What's this white one? The 200. Onto the 200 EMA. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we call that inverted head and shoulders off of the male. Or some people may call it a W off the male. Because inverted head and shoulders is only a variation of a head and shoulders. All right. So now let's look at where did we enter and where did we have our stop loss? Okay. Now that's why I just put this little blue bar here. So that way we can get an idea of the time that I entered. All right. Now I entered um, just near the uh, end of the session. I'm like, yo, I saw the move. I'm getting in. All right. Sometimes that can go against you, though, because sometimes they can stop you out if they uh, decide to do a gap, which they did here. And thankfully, they didn't stop me out. That was just crazy, man. They be cheating, man. Anyway. All right. When I saw this shoulder, they started to pull off and I entered right here where you see this white line. OK, that's why I got this white line here. I entered on this white line. All right, this white line right here. All right, that was my entry because I saw the pattern. Now, what pattern did I see over here? Let's talk about it, all right? Because I do look for candlestick patterns, okay? 100%, I look for candlestick patterns. I actually have, um, you know, a good bonus for you guys at the end to help you guys with your candlestick patterns. But what candlestick pattern did I see over here? What's that? Hold on, let me move it over. What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? A morning star, morning star. It's a morning star, guys. All right, so I entered right after that morning star. Boom, I'm in there. Then I put my stop loss. I put my stop loss, okay? I use market structure for my stop loss, all right? Now, sometimes I will use like a engulfing candle or order block or something like that. Sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll use a tracer, like a yesterday's high, yesterday's low, you know, um, sometimes I'll use the zero, zero figures, which are the bank numbers, the zero, zero, 50 to 25. All right. But in this case, uh, market structure was what I used right here. So I put my stop loss right below this last swing point. 
which was this morning star. All right. So from that point, I'm like, all right, boom, where's my TP? Where do I want to take this thing to? Now, I already know that I'm looking for a one to two risk to reward. All right. I look for a one to two risk to reward because everything that I'm testing out, you know, relies on me being able to at minimum be able to get a one to two risk to reward. And guys, I'll be doing another video showcasing how you can actually be profitable even if you only win 40% of your trades, like you ain't got to win all your trades. You know, like you could lose most of them and be profitable. That's another video. The point is, right, I'm looking for a one to two risk to reward. So it's like, okay, I go ahead and measure this out. And I think this was like, what, 25 pips? I got 25 pips stop. So I'm looking for a 50 pip TP. All right. So this purple line here represents where I actually TP that, you know, which was like 54, 55 pips. But 50 pips would have been suffice, right? The 55 pips, hey, that's wonderful, right? So my point is I got my one or two. Now, why was I not, and this is something I want to point out, why was I not trying to take this further in this particular case? All right, let me show you. Let me show you. Here on the H1, okay? I'm going to move this horizontal line for a minute. You see this green line? That is my monthly tracer, okay? Here's the thing. As far as price, they are these these tracers act as magnets, right? And rejection points, right? Like price will be drawn to it, like how they're drawn to EMAs, and then they'll bounce off of it, right? So I wasn't trying to take this thing past this monthly tracer, right? So I just put this green line here because for whatever reason, my monthly tracer doesn't show up on my M15. I don't know. Maybe I got a raggedy template. I don't know. But that's why I got that green line there, okay? To let me know, hey, you don't want to try and go past that. All right, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go for the one to two. And as you guys can see here, the green, when it highlights green down here in the MT4, that lets you know that you hit TP versus closing it out, which is not a problem, you know, if that's what you need to do. But in this case, it hit uh, TP. I had two entries. I was like, yo, let me, let me go ahead and get that. Let me get that, baby. Let me get that. So I hit a quick one to two on this trade. And so you see, it's not even complicated on the things that I'm looking for, guys. It's not even complicated. What direction am I going in? Okay, that was one. What direction should I be trading in? Excuse me, right? Do I have some space, you know, to get in that to that trade to make it to the next zone to at least get my one or two, right? Then I'm looking for, do I see on the M15 and sometimes the M5, but most cases the M15, do I see three pushes, right? That's dealing with market structure and level counts. And we're going to, you know, go over this on other videos, a whole bunch of other videos. We're going to be doing level counts over and over because level counts is nothing but market structure. All right. But it's one pushy, pushy, two pushy, pushy, three pushy, pushy, trap. Let's go. Boop, pull back. Right. Boop, pull back. Boom. Let me get in there. Get in there. And anytime, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, anytime I'm getting in on a pullback, right, whatever candle pattern is there. And here's another nugget. Here's another nugget. Write this down. A lot of times that pullback is a morning star or an evening star if you, you know, if you're selling, right? A lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times, okay? And so if I'm catching that pullback entry, I'm getting in, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my shot, you know, and I'm going to put my stop loss below that pullback right there, below if I'm buying or above, you know, if I am selling, all right? And I'm telling you guys, I ain't even going to lie, man, this would be like the easiest these be like the easiest trades that I take. I'm not even lying to you. <laughs> These be the easiest trades that I take when I catch them, when I catch them on that pullback with that, um, you know, with that uh, morning star or the evening star, put it in, put my stop loss, stop loss, go to sleep. This me, I'm over here sleep. That's what I do, right? Like low stress, especially when you have a lot of space, you know, that you can get your one or two. So guys, hopefully this has been helpful for you and showed you some things that you can start looking for on your charts. And guys, like I told you, I had a bonus for you. All right. I've put together, all right. I've put together some cool uh, flashcards just for you. All right. Bringing you back to me. All right. It shows, uh, I talk about divergence. Uh, both regular and hidden divergence and exaggerated divergence. I talk about the different candlestick patterns that you can use for entries, all right? And I show you guys some flashcards of all these things so that way you can see exactly what it looks like because all these things are going to be um, topics that I'm going to be covering on my channel more in depth as well. But these are things that I use on all of these trades as I'm learning. And guys, I'm learning in such a way that I want trading to be easy, 
Okay. Like, I don't feel that it has to be hard. Okay. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, in our university at LCA University, we're taught that trading does not have to be hard. Trading can be easy. Okay. So the things that I'm sharing with you guys are from a easy standpoint. You don't have to be a wizard to understand how to trade these forex markets. All right. So down in the comments, all right, let me know what's one takeaway that you have found from this video on this uh, tutorial of your JPY, you know, this analysis. Let me know something you can take away. And the first link in the description will be the link that you could go ahead and get those free, 100% free uh, flashcards that I put together for you guys and the cheat sheets. Okay, first link in the description at ladypips.com. You can get the free cheat sheets. As well, I've done the work, man. Go ahead and leverage me. I've done the work for you, so you ain't got to do all that work. Just go ahead and tap in. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell, baby. And if you are in a position where you're like, you know what? I got a lot of this stuff down. I just need a specific strategy that I can follow that has a high hit rate that, hey, I can just, you know, practice this thing and then go take it off. If that's what you need, you just need your strategy. Second link in the description, I'll show you the strategy that I use uh, the absolute most. Okay, the absolute most. All right, second link in the description, you can grab that and you can even start trading with me. Let's go, because we're going to run up this bag, baby. All right, and what we're going to do, guys, you already know at the end of the day, baby, this lady pips and we're going to do what we're going to take. This right to the top. All right, y'all. And we have. Yeah.